Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Rufy Butt here. I'm uh, just at the bar drinking wood for, you know, Uncle Day. Uh, because, you know, that they, they, they looking for her because of what Z Killer did to another, you know, you know, uh, that Billy guy. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Hey, uh, you know where we can find uh, someone to sign off on the delivery? Oh, no, I don't work here. I'm just here to get a bear. Over here. Alright, uh, I promise I won't look at it. <laughs> Go grab the other three. <laughs> I promise I won't look at it. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm just, uh, you know. I'm just here drinking a bear, drinking wolf for Dave, you know. They're, they're looking for him, that Z killer. But yeah, I'm gonna see what this guy do with me. I don't to do with him. What he'll leave. I'm gonna check those boxes. Is it just me or is that mouse vibrating? Oh no, it's vibrating. But my, my best friend built this bar, her name Uncle Dave, and, and he built it vibrating. He thought it would bring atmosphere to the bar. Mm. I thought that's weird. <laughs> is it vibrating? Yeah, it is. <laughs> the ears are vibrating. A few moments later. Oh, I bought, bought. I, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I thought I could get another bear, but I gotta see what it's about. I'll put this box in there at the, at the back. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't, let's open it up. There we go. I'll just close it all up. Let's get out of here. I don't know what that box, but I draw one for Dave. I guess I'll get more bear later. Oh, there go that, that guy the truck. I definitely took one of the boxes. I don't know if he knows or doesn't know. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I want to say this my hole. Oh, I thought that guy got pulled me over. What you gonna pull me over for, Bubba?
I'm just gonna go inside this laser though. I was going on. Yeah, I got this box I'm here to sell. Her name's Jerome. Jerome Williams, I think her name is. Oh, yeah, that's the one that's in the box. Just put it in. Alright. Alright, we gotta get out of here. I just sold that box. Alright, I don't know what we did it, but. We're just gonna go back to the bar, you know. What a park out here. All our car up. Baba, yeah, I, I thought y'all come back. I just had to, you know, take your baby. Meanwhile, yeah, well, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Dave, you know. He just, I told, well, I, well, I tried calling him and talking to him the other day. I tried to tell him, you know, you know, you just turn yourself in and then, you know, when you get out, you can so you can't that way they're not looking for you, so that way you can play it better, you know. But he said, no, he said, I gotta go, I gotta go get, you know, another, you know. Does he does he kill up before like I go to jail? He said hey, if I if I go to jail, he said that hey, he's not dead. He said that's a problem. I said yeah, oh I understand. He killed his friend. Do you do you you knew who Billy was, right? Yeah. Oh I don't even know who that guy was, but apparently that was his best friend. Yeah, and you know that guy said that the the mouse boy. I, I don't remember why did they do that. Oh I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm just over here drinking, you know. But this is my second beer, so you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little buzz. Yeah, I'm not, not, I'm not done with that Pilates. That Pilates is disgusting. Whoever whoever drunk that, well, I wouldn't be there for it. Oh, Billy drunk that? That was Billy's favorite drink? And he got that? Oh, nah, it, it's piss watches and piss watches only. I mean, I'll drink some other stuff, you know. Hello? Oh, what's going on? Hey, is that your truck out there, boss man? Oh, oh what's one? The red one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my truck. That's your truck. All right, boss man, I need you to set that beer down. Oh, right, yeah, I'll set it down. Hold on, Barbara. I gotta set the beer down. Yeah, I gotta talk to this officer. I'll be back. Oh, what's going on? So, we got reports that that truck is stolen, my man. Stolen? And you happen to steal it? No, that's my truck. That's your truck. You know the plate off the top of your head? Oh no, I just bought it. You just bought it. You got any paperwork proving that oh, you just bought it? Oh, is it a car? Okay. Let's go out to the car then. Alright, well, let's go. You, you did that tell me you want to walk out there. You just say you want to talk. Oh, well, now I want to go for a walk. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I and got a little bit of cardio. I won't hurt nobody. What's your name, also by chance? Oh, my name is Rufus Buck. Rufus Buck. Yeah. I was just in there talking to my friend Dave on the phone, and then you know, it just I just got done selling a box to somebody at the motel. Hop in, grab that paper. Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll get it for you. Oh, hold on. 
unlock it. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna grab it out for you. A few moments later. Piss well. Oh, I'll go down. Here's, here's this paperwork bag. Oh, yeah. So, the only reason we're here today is because we got 911 saying that you stole this truck today. Oh, no, I didn't steal the truck. Yeah, well, that's what people are saying. But, I mean, all your paperwork sheds out, you play tradition and all that. So, yeah, Rufus, you're good to go back in there, buddy. I mean, I know that there's a lady that was like, yelling at me because I went and sold a box or somewhere there. What did you sell, Rufus? Oh, I don't know what was in the box. So guy, I, I, so guy came and dropped off some boxes to me, and then I said, "What's in over?" He said, "No, I tried, I tried looking in the box to see what was in there, but I got nothing back, you know." So I just went and sold it. Right, I gotcha. I would recommend not selling any boxes that are empty, okay? Oh, I don't know if it was empty or there's something. Oh, in there. empty or like without you knowing what's in it. Oh, well, and they dropped it off here at Dave's Bar. Where did you drop it off to? Oh, I went to the motel, dropped it off to some guy. His name was Jerome. Do you happen to know where Remy dropped it off to? Oh, no. I, I He was in a parking lot. He was driving like a, a black photo. I don't know to make a model, but it was like a black photo. His name was Jerome. Uh, I got you. Alright, Rufus. You, uh, you're good to go, my friend, okay? Oh, yeah. You have a good one. Alright, have a lovely day. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm not drinking for tonight. I'm gonna go drive around. Yeah, that's how I stole this truck. I don't know if they're gonna say it. I mean, I know someone said something about a box, but not the truck. I bet I guess it could be stolen. Oh, what that would be over for? Turn it off, or run out a window. Oh, what that not good? That not good. Oh, ah, uh, no, I don't know what that guy would do. What's up? Sorry, yeah, but wait, 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 did I miss something there, uh, McNulty? Ah. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay, so nobody's gonna get from this. Alright. <laughs> How you doing there, Mr. Rip? I don't know what's going on. What the this hour going on for? Corporal Slave of the San Andreas State Police. The reason to stop is you failed to yield at that uh that traffic area over there. Oh my bad. I didn't know that there was a yield sign. Uh well, there's not a yield sign, but you still have to yield. Oh my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna your license registration. Oh yeah. Let me let me get it out for you. There you go, Rufus Buck. Right. 
I mean, I didn't know what to do. I didn't yield. I mean, I get it. I get it. I didn't yield. <laughs> I'll give her that wolf. Technically, the doctor told me your side, but I get it. You're supposed to yield. I get it. <laughs> I just drive it around in my truck. They didn't get that guy out of school, though. I remember just a question. You got any weapons in your car? Ah, oh, no. I don't carry no weapon, no more. I'm a fella. All right. Let's give it a check real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, if you want to, yeah, so. I'll hop out and let you check. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, you're good to go. You're clear. All right. Or well, you can pick up my hat. That was rude. Not, uh, I gotta go. Just pick it up yourself. I gotta. Oh, that's rude. Knock my hat off and tell me to pick it up, but he knocked it off. That rude. I got it right. Later. to keep driving around. Oh, yeah, Oh, what? Oh, I, I'm definitely drunk to die. I did not just see what I thought I just thought I was seeing all these cars do weird thing and then the guy would not bunch you down. Oh, the, with, that, with that alcohol that I bought, right? I think it was late so I, I'm seeing lots of the, the great thing to die. Oh. Oh, that's the guy to buy. Oh, what's going on? How I go wrong? Uh, driver's license, registration, proof of insurance, please. Reason for the stop is you were spinning out a little back there, failure to maintain lane, swerving. Oh my! Be Captain King with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Oh, oh, you Captain K? Yeah, Captain King. So KK? That is that key? Well, like CK or yeah, CK. Oh yeah, you're the guy that uh, I know. You're the guy that killed that Billy guy. You're the Z killer. I'm the guy that unfortunately had to shoot Billy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're what people trying to enter that Z killer. Hold on, let me give my last Z killer. Just ignore the man on the bike. Oh, there you go, Z killer. Yeah, Rufus Buck. Rufus Buck, hold on for me, Rufus. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a Z-Killer guy, and that's who they want there. Oh. And he got, he got, he got, he got a buddy with him too. He lucky. Oh, 
Yeah, if he was, he was, if he was by himself, I would have got out and stabbed him. You killed Dave's best friend, son of a bit. And then like that one guy that who was on the news that they got filmed, that Isaac medic guy, he called him a bastard. And then that is a bastard. They had it all on footage. They had the chopper flying around and they caught it all. I don't know why I gotta keep locking the door. I don't want to steal that piece of Mr. crap, Mr. Uh, Rufus, I'm gonna need to step out of the vehicle so I can perform a field sobriety test on you. Oh, uh, step out of the vehicle? Uh, Alright, I'll step out. Okay, thank you. Come over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Rufus. Uh, oh. We're gonna do a couple tests here. The first test is I'm gonna have you follow my finger without moving your head, okay? Oh, uh, what going on? Follow that finger? Yeah, follow the finger, Rufus. You see my finger? Do you have any problems with your eyes before we start this test? Oh, oh yeah, I got bad eyes. Okay, you got bad eyes. So let's do the best you can, okay? Ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. Rufus, I thought I told you to drive safe. Oh, I try. But the Z killer had to pull me over. But Z killer had to pull me over. Okay, Mr. Rufus, the next step is I'm gonna need you to put one foot about 12 inches off the ground and start to count from one to 10 to me, but it's gonna be one Mississippi, two Mississippi like that, okay? Oh. Uh, Before we start this test, do you have any debilitating knee injuries? Oh yeah, when I was in high school, I tried out for wrestling, and some guy broke both my knees. Okay, so both your knees are bad? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, can you walk in a straight line, do you think? Huh? Instead of doing this test with a different one, can you walk in a straight line? Yeah, I'm about to walk in a straight line. Okay, perfect. Come over, uh... Shit. Wait a okay. Come over here with me. Are we gonna go in the middle of the row? Go directly on the side of the road. So what I need you to do is I need to take nine continuous heel to toe steps on this white line right here. Just wait till he blocks off traffic, though. Oh yeah. Perfect. We're gonna go that way. Start right here by his Tahoe and take not or ten heel to toe steps in a straight line. Oh yeah. Like I, yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. Alright, what do you want me to go? Tell me when you're ready. Go. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. You're good, Mr. Rufus. Just go ahead and pick up the skybox for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do I do what I want? I'm sorry, what did you say? How did I do what I will? Not too bad, not too bad. The next step we're going to do is going to be a field sobriety breathalyzer test. I'm going to have you blow into a tube until I tell you to stop. It's going to be one long continuous breath. You can set to the breathalyzer test. Oh, I guess I got no toys because if I say no like the last time, you got to get a award. Yeah, it's so, an yeah. automatic additional charge. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, uh, do you have it set in your slash back muscle, Mr. Rufus? Uh, no, I, I, I can set it for you. Go ahead and set that. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, Mr. Rufus, have you got it set, buddy? Oh, yeah, it should be set. Okay, perfect. I need you to form a tight seal around the lip piece of this breathalyzer here and blow tight, tight to stop. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. What do you are? Blowing for me. All right. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Okay, Mr. Rufus, the next step here is I'm going to need you to turn around and place behind your back. At this time, you'll be under arrest for DUI. You blew a point two. Oh, no, come on. I don't want to go to jail. Well, Mr. Rufus, you blew a point two. You were going to jail. But I, I thought it right was now. like a point eight. It, it's a point zero eight. That's the legal limit. You blew uh damn near twice plus some more. Oh, my bad. Just go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Turn around for me, Mr. I Rufus. I don't want. Come on. Can you just cut me a break? Uh, no, because I believe this is your second DUI actually. So I'm definitely not going to cut you a break. The last guy cut a break, 
ended up having to have me shoot him, so I'm not gonna cut no more breaks or anything. Oh else. no, because you didn't you didn't shoot him because you, he did a couple break. Apparently, the newspaper said that you said that he stole a TV. Well, he did steal a TV, but you know maybe if I would have you know not cut him a break and sent him to rehab, maybe he wouldn't have ended up stealing that TV and had to die. So uh, go ahead and place your heads well, behind the back for me. You could around. you you could send me to rehab. I'll go drive there. Well, no, you're not driving. No. Yeah, I'll go drive there. Yeah, I'll go drive there. I gotta get out of here. This, this is not, I, I thought I, I thought I was good. I'm gonna drink that blood. Yeah, I've been drinking for a long time today. Oh, you got that? You got that brave cop trying to come over to go for that pit? Ah, oh, my car! My car! Oh, hey, hey, oh. Uh. Uh. Why you have to do that? Uh, I mean, Cough Cough I was trying to get you over the thing, so I mean, you can get up and keep going. No, show me. Rufus. Don't shoot Rufus, me. I'm not gonna shoot you. Just stop. Alright, alright, I'll stop. Uh, drop I'll... down your knees. I can't, I got bad knees. Well, then attempt to lay down. Alright. Someone could kill the siren of my Tahoe. Greatly appreciated. You know what? Fuck it, that works. Uh, stop doing the emote. Yeah. All right, just keep your hands where I can see them, okay, Rufus? Yeah, I I, I got gotcha. you. All right, I'm gonna help you up, okay? All right. Mr. Rufus, why'd you run? Now it's gonna be two fucking felonies. I don't want to go to jail. You could have just sent me to rehab. Well, well, now you're here's the really thing. going I, to I'd have to arrest you to send you to rehab. Now you're going to prison for two felonies. Oh, uh, come on, dog. No, don't send me to prison. I, I, my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Mr. Rufus, you're going to have anything that's going to be illegal in your vehicle? Oh, no. The vehicle cleared. The cop searched it earlier. Oh, okay. I didn't search it earlier. Well, no, not you. I, I got pulled over at the bar. Oh, okay. Do you want to respond to my uh, skybox? Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way, are you related to Billy Willie? Because you guys sound pretty damn close. No, I mean, uh, uh, the Dave style sounded like him too, but you killed him, so I don't know what he looks like or sounds like. You guys are supposed to shoot to protect, not shoot to kill. No, we shoot to kill around here. Oh, yeah, see, that's messed um, up. Um, uh, we gotta do something a little funny oh, yeah. here, okay? I, I gotcha. Okay, uh, we didn't have... But I gotcha. Have the ability, yeah. It would just be a little TV effect added to the video. That never happened. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mr. <laughs> Rufus. I would tell you to drive safe again, but don't you're not fucking drive driving. again. You're, well, your license is I was going to go to the rehab, so I know you could have told me where to beat you at. Or you no, you don't get a. You blew a two. You're not going to the rehab center. By well, I, well, I thought that you had a point of eight, and I thought a two was good. No, no, no. Point zero eight. It's oh. bad. You blew a point two. That's oh. two times legal. Well, I mean, I could have waited a little bit more. And what's up with the bike guy? I've been seeing him all day. Yeah, I think he's crazy. Uh, I think he had drugs, so you're more worried about me. 
you be worried about the guy riding that scooter or drug? Yeah, I think that's also the guy, you know, who was riding the scooter, but now he's on a bike. Oh yeah, I, I've been seeing him all day earlier. He was running almost head off. He ran into the middle of traffic, trying to probably get a shirt scan. Well, you know, maybe you should have drove with a two because I, it was pretty easy to tell you were inebriated. Oh, uh, no, you, you just can't say that. That's rude. You, you were swerving all over the road. Oh, the, you couldn't even stand up straight. Oh, the, well, yeah, because I got bad knees, I told you. You got bad knees? I told you. When I was in high school, I showed up for the wrestling school. And there's some big guy. I was talking smack to him, and then he beat me up, and he broke both my knees. Oh, well, you still have a blood alcohol of two, which, or point two. So I don't even know how you're okay. Oh, well, I could go up to a point eight, but I never went past a point eight. I think I might die if I do that, but yeah, I, I feel so like if I feel like you should already not be okay, but if you blew a point eight, you'd probably be dead. Oh, I, I, I've been to the hospital like four times with a point eight, and I haven't died yet. No, maybe you should go to rehab instead of... Well, I was going to go there, but you just had to change for it, and you wouldn't drive well, here's it. the thing. We could have took you to rehab, but you decided to drive away from us. Oh, yeah, I, I could drive. And then your truck's now currently on blocks. Oh yeah, I know because that cop had to hit me over the barricade, and that was a nice dude. I did bought that day. Well, your truck's probably getting impounded. Oh yeah, and then uh, I'm gonna have to come after that guy to hit me, just like Dave going gonna, after you. You're gonna go after him for hitting you? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was a nice truck. So you're telling me you're you're threatening Pat and Gail's life? Oh, no, I'm not threatening his life because he ain't gonna be threatened by me, but I'm gonna talk to him, you know, but my watch hit my car. Although, when they talked to him, he told me he was gonna talk, but he did more to talk, and I'm not trying to go to jail again, but that was his best friend, so I understand why he stabbed him. To be, to be honest with you, I would've did the same thing if I were in his shoes. You killed my best friend? I had no. I did not want to kill Billy. He pulled out a gun and started shooting at us. Well, when me and Dave, when, when Dave was showing me all the news reports over there, it said that you shot one bullet, he went down, and then you shot the rest out of your chamber. I only shot him once. Well, that's what the, that's what the news is saying. The other officers around me also shot at him because he pulled out a firearm and tried killing him. Yeah, but I was told that you killed him. Unfortunately. And what did that, I, how did that Micah guy get here so quick? I don't fucking know. He's really fast. He's got a really powerful leg. I want to let you so know. This is, your, this is your second DUI, Rufus? Oh, I don't know. It should have been my, my. I don't know. I don't remember. Well, you said last time you said you weren't going to give a field sobriety test, and then you, uh... Oh, well, no, 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 I got pulled over with Dave, because when Dave wasn't, like, wanted, we got pulled over, and then they wanted, I was the passenger, and after that, when I said no, they told me that they could just get a warrant to do that, so I, I just, any time they asked now, I just couldn't do it, because you guys are going to get a warrant no matter what. Yeah, it's true. Can you see, by the way? Oh, yeah, I can see just fine. Okay, perfect. Usually people can't for some reason. Oh, yeah, I, I think it's when you go through the back door. Yeah, it might be. Okay, that well... I'm assuming you know the drill. Yep, I know the drill. I do want to let you know you're lucky that you weren't alone because I would have stabbed you. You would have stabbed me? Oh, yeah, because you killed you killed Dave's best friend. He's he cried. You stabbed me because you didn't you didn't have a knife or anything. What are you gonna stab me with? Like a hat? Your pointy hat? Oh, I, I would have figured out a way. I was in jail. I learned a lot of a lot of stuff in jail, you know. But you don't realize that threatening to stab me is a, a crime, right? Oh, well, no, that's not a threat. That's a promise because of what you did to Dave's best friend. It's not my fault that Dave's best friend died, man. Yeah, then you, you shot him. You should have shot his leg or something. I tried to, but he moved. He turned when I shot him. Oh, why did you guys just tase him? Because he had a gun, and if I would have tased him, the gun still went off and killed somebody because tasers make your muscles get up, and then he would have continued pulling the trigger. And he probably would have killed all of us. Well, that far, you got probably deserve it, because you got this hassling the guy. He probably wasn't even doing anything. It's not our fault he chose to break the law. Well, I mean, it is your fault that you killed Dave's best friend in Dave's eyes, you know. And you can't tell Dave otherwise, because you already tried to tell him, and look what happened. He stabbed you. Yeah, Dave, Dave won't listen to me, but, and I try to tell him the truth, but he won't listen. 
So, like, you can tell me the truth. I don't even really know the guy, but, I mean, if you're talking to Dave, Dave, da, da he doesn't like what you did, man. Well, I mean, what happened is he stole TV and then ran to the prison. And he, we were trying to just, you know, arrest him. We tried to tase him, but, you know, he, we were out of our taser range. When we got to the prison, he turned around with a gun in his hand and started shooting at us. So I was going to shoot him in the leg, but he moved to the left when I shot, and it hit him in the chest. Oh, yeah, and then he died, and then Dave saw what happened, and then he blamed it on you. I mean, I think Dave just, you know, he, he knows what truly happened, but he's blaming me for the death of his friend, even though it wasn't my fault. And he might know what truly happened, but I don't. When I got, like, five different civilians telling me that you killed this guy, I just got to, uh, what the, is that guy here now? Yeah, I just ignore him. Oh, I, 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 I thought I was on drugs, but I haven't took it, and I thought the beer was like. No, you're not on drugs. I hear him too. Ah, uh, yeah, because I, I kept on seeing this all day today. I'm like, am I on uh, drugs? Is the bear laced or something, you know? What'd you say? Ah, uh, yeah, I kept on seeing that guy all day today, and I thought, like, I was on drugs, like the bear was laced or something. I was like, that's not good. No, nah, he's just kind of crazy. Oh, well, then you guys didn't go around them. I think he had drugs. So you guys were worried about me. I wasn't a hard with anyone. No, the problem is, is he's not on the medication he's supposed to be taking. That's the issue. Oh, I got some good stuff at my house he could take. Yeah, he, he's supposed to be on some medicine, but he can't get to the doctor, so it's hard for him to get Oh, well, I got some medicine for him. It's called Dyquil. I'll put him to sleep so he can quit this mumble jumbo. I don't know what kind of medicine he's on. It's prescribed by a doctor. Oh, I'll give him Dyquil so he goes to sleep. No, that, I mean, that might work. Oh, yeah, that, well, that's what I think I can take of. I mean, if I knew where Dave was, I could probably ask Dave if he knew where to buy some drugs and give some drugs, and maybe that would well, calm him down. If you know where Dave is, just tell him himself to, to you know, turn himself, and I don't want to have to kill him either. Well, you know, you know where to meet Dave. Dave said that you got to be him up at the mountain. I'm not meeting him on the mountain. That sounds like a really bad idea for both of them. Oh, he said that's the only place that he wants to talk to and meet you at. So I guess you okay, got. Well, Mr. Rufus Black, your charges are going to be. Black? Why? I'm not black. black. Isn't that your name? Isn't it Rufus Black? No, Rufus Buck. Oh, my bad. Okay, Mr. Rufus Buck, you're going to be charged with DUI first offense, which is actually a misdemeanor, surprisingly, for some reason. And then fleeing and eluding, which is a felony. So you're going to be getting 280 months in the state corrections facility. Ah, oh, come on. But since there's a lack of people in this, you know, in the city, I'm only going to send you for about 50. Oh, yeah? You have a nice day in jail, Mr. Rufus. All right. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Rufus Buck, going back to jail. Drove around, drank some beer, sold a box that someone dropped off. Don't know what was in it. I wish... The guy would have responded back. But, I mean, I wasn't going to go DM him in the game or whatever in our Discord and be like, oh, hey, what's in that box? You know, type deal. So, he didn't tell me. I just sold it. I don't know what was in there, but then some local saw me selling it. You know, call the cops type deal. And then they came back and said my truck was stolen, though, which that made no sense. My truck was stolen, but it's my truck. But, you know, whatever that afterwards, the we get pulled over for not yielded, or we get pulled over for the swerving, you know, so. And then I'm a jail. So, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you all next time.